This video explains how to fix your printer when you see a carriage jam error message on your computer or on the printer control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Check for foreign objects in the printer. They can also cause jams. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Look inside the input tray and remove any foreign materials, such as paper clips, pens, or other objects that might have fallen inside. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects that are found. Ensure that there are no foreign materials that remain inside the input tray. This could result in further jams or damage the printer. Turn back to the front. Close the input and output trays. Turn the printer so that you can access its underside. Locate the cleanout door and press the tabs on either side to open it. Carefully remove any paper you see. If the paper tears while removing it, check inside the door for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Close the cleanout door and gently push the door forward until it snaps into place. Turn the printer over and return it to its normal position. Open the input and output trays. Look inside the input tray for any foreign objects that might have shifted when the product was turned over. Use a flashlight to illuminate the area. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any foreign objects that are found. Open the cartridge access door. Check the area for jammed paper. Carefully remove any paper you see. If necessary, pull evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Close the cartridge access door. If you cannot remove the jammed paper from the underside or inside of the printer, then we will attempt to remove it from the front. Check the paper output tray for any jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it, check inside the door for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Turn to the front. 
If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Remove the paper from the input tray. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move to the center of the printer. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Turn to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach inside the printer through the cartridge access door and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Remove the paper from the input tray. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage moves to the center of the printer. When the carriage stops moving, lightly press down on the cartridge to release it. Then, pull the cartridge out to remove it from the slot. Remove both cartridges. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. Be careful not to touch the contacts or nozzles because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage. Use a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found.
Make sure that you reinstall each cartridge in its correct slot. Tricolor on the left and black on the right. Holding the cartridge by its sides with the nozzles facing downward, slide it directly into its correct slot. Push the cartridge forward into the slot until it snaps into place. Reinstall the second cartridge in the same manner. When the cartridge is in, close the cartridge access door of the printer. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then plug it back into the printer. Move back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Remove the paper from the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Move back to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from your printer to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the button next to Setup. Then, press the button next to Printer Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.